All right, real quick, since I kind of just uh, started filming off the fly here earlier, uh, later on in the video, you'll see. Uh, I just came into the yard here in Tyson, and uh, there was a truck sitting in the middle of the yard. And for a second there, I thought I was backing up, but then I didn't see the guy in the driver's seat. So I talked to the yard jockey, and he told me that uh, the guy's brakes froze up there, pulling out. So you'll see me go and try to help him out and throw some air brake in and freeze in there and whatnot. But uh, we ended up getting his brakes to release, but now the problem is his transmission doesn't want to go into gear. Probably the line to the transmission froze up too, so now it's not supplying air to the automatic transmission. So that's uh, that's what you're going to see here next. So this guy's brakes froze right here while trying to uh, back into back into the door, and he's stuck here in the middle of the middle of the freaking. Uh, parking lot so i'm gonna see if i can't help them out here oh my gosh it's like 100 mile an hour wind all right so what we're doing is we're filling these filling his uh emergency and his service line back up with this stuff again and uh, i'm gonna have him hit the brakes off and on and uh let's see if i can't get this trail to move for him oh boy Woo. 14 degrees with like a 30 mile an hour wind and then you get that alcohol in your hands so that poor guy what happened to him is initially his brakes froze on him right there he, he couldn't back up he couldn't drag it the trailer was stuck i just put the air brake antifreeze in there and had him cycle the brakes a couple times and wait it hands are wow it's actually hurting <laughs> yeah and actually uh waited there for a while and he put the brakes in and the trailer actually moved but but now his problem is the automatic transmission won't go into gear because guess what now? He must have had enough water in his uh, system and moisture that now uh, now it must have made its way into the transmission and the uh, transmission's not shifting into gear. It's an automatic transmission. It was a Cascadia, a newer one. So now he doesn't have any, any gears. He can't get it to go into gear. I told him, here's what I told him. I basically told him, I said, look, keep circulating the brakes. I said, that way, you know, you'll get that antifreeze all the way through your system. And every once in a while, come up here and see if you can try to keep getting into gear every once in a while. I said, maybe you'll get lucky enough. You'll get that uh, air brake antifreeze into your transmission or, or whatever line is frozen up. And you'll be able to get it in gear. So I think right now he's waiting on road service. And they told him probably sometime this afternoon like five or six o'clock and uh it's like 10 o'clock right now so i did what i could do for him but you know that's uh that's the one thing about having an automatic transmission is yeah you can you can freeze your uh transmission lines too but uh i tried to help him out i i you know it, it is what it is i wasn't going to go over there he's already all aggravated i wasn't going to go over there and put the camera in his face and stuff but uh Man, I think I got frostbite in my hands. But hey, I tried, I tried. But uh, we, on the other hand, we have uh, trailer brakes again, and they're they're working. And uh, you know, pretty much, I'm just dropping the trailer right now, and uh, we're gonna get out of here and go home. So, yeah, for anybody that watched my other video where the uh, service lines are frozen, but for the most part, uh, it was a uneventful ride home uneventful ride home which that's the way we wanted to be so yeah but quick real real disclaimer from earlier this morning if you're um if you figure out that your service brakes aren't working i would highly highly recommend not driving the vehicle the truck whatnot if you're a company guy go ahead and call your call your company up and uh let them know that your service brakes are frozen and uh, I mean if you don't have I mean it's up to you if you have an air brake antifreeze you know with you or you have a torch or whatnot I mean you can go ahead and do that if you're that kind of company driver that you know wants to make money I guess or continue you know putting laying down miles or uh, you know or or you know just let the company take care of it now if you're an operator that's a different, uh, you know, uh, different situation. I would hope you're prepared. Um, you know, if you're not, you're not. I guess it is. Um, 
you know, you don't want to end up like the guy down there, pretty much. Which it's a sh shitty situation, you know. He's he's literally stuck in the middle of the yard. You know, if if you don't feel comfortable doing something, whether that be mechanical or or driving a vehicle somewhere, don't do it. It's not worth it's not worth your CDL. It's not worth other people's lives. Um, I guess I should have probably made that uh, statement in the last video. Uh, you know, if you don't if you don't know anything about the air brake system or what's going on with your truck or how it feels, don't don't drive it. Don't don't put yourself in that situation. Don't put others in that situation. And that and that's the problem, uh, guys. Today they either they don't have the knowledge or no one ever came out there and taught them that these situations that happen. That you know you can have your service brakes only freeze up and you know you might be hitting that pedal but it's not doing nothing to the trailer um and th that's that's dangerous you know it's dangerous should be doing that but I, I i highly recommend if you don't feel comfortable either doing things like if you don't feel comfortable adding air brake antifreeze to your lines then you know call road service call your company to call road service if you know if you're coming to drive or whatnot don't don't put yourself or other people in a dangerous situation. So that's that's my little disclaimer for what, what I did and what happened earlier this morning. Um, but as of right now, the service brakes work on the trailer. Everything's fine. Hopefully, they don't freeze up for the next driver who's going to pick this relay up. Um, I doubt they will. Like I said, I probably used the rest, almost the rep between his truck and, and what I used on the trailer. Uh, that bottle's pretty much almost empty uh so we'll see we'll see how that goes but i'm like i said earlier i'm i'm gonna head back over to where i park my truck at and get ready to go home so if you like the content and you like what i'm putting out there uh please uh hammer down the like button and smash subscribe uh like i know today's content wasn't really i don't know put together real well it was just thrown out there but uh you know, I'm just I'm just going at it right now. I'm just trying to put out some content for you guys, and to keep everyone kind of kind of informed what's going on, and maybe give some people some hints and tips to help them out here to this winter, so you don't end up you know stuck somewhere. But uh, other than that, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, Jackknife out.